Hey everyone, this was originally going to be a Dungar Druid video, but we ended up losing a bunch of ranks on that deck. We ended up slipping down from top 300 to about top 600. So once that happened, I kind of decided to say screw it. I'm just going to play a meme deck. But to my surprise, we ended up climbing with this deck and we got back up to top 500 and even a little bit more than that. That deck that I used, that meme deck, meme deck is Dragon Priest. Yep, you heard me right, Dragon Priest, or otherwise known as Zerimi Priest. So the main focus of this deck is Timewinder Zerimi. With Timewinder Zerimi, if you play 8 dragons throughout the course of the game, then you play Zerimi, you could essentially take an extra turn once per game. So the entire focus of the deck is basically play a bunch of dragons, get some early game tempo, and get into Zerimi, and then OTK your opponent. So without further ado, let's get into some games. All right, going up against Warrior. Warrior is a pretty interesting matchup. Not seeing too many Warriors on ladder at this point. All right, we're keeping this weapon. We're on coin, right? Uh, so this could be a lot of different things. Could be Highlander. Could be Odin. Small chance it's Mech. Uh, he's ranked 735. He's not at the tippity top. Not five, top 500. We tend to see like Mech Warrior around top 1,000, and it drops off a lot after 500. So this could be it, this could be any warrior, but in general, strategy against Highlander and Odin is just flood them, just rush them, and then drop Zerimi before they could get you, and OTK them. So that's what we're gonna go for this game. Uh, got a nice curve, like a coin weapon. Weapons looking really good alongside Zilliax. Let's get on the board as much as possible and try and drop Zilliax before they get clear. Uh, honestly, this is all pretty superficial the damage we're doing. Our minions are really small. Warrior's just going to armor up in response. Okay, that's a Tortolan Traveler. So not Odin. So it's either Mech or Highlander. Oh, it could be either. Could be either. Okay, how are we going to play this? <laughs> so we can't really kill this. Unless we want to do... Power to synchronize things. But I think we don't really care about that. I think we just want to get a little further on board. Now the question is, do we want a fishing rod? Or do we want to try and get some heal value while we can? So we go fishing rod. Then next turn... We could dump stuff. Let's go fishing rod. Uh, we will not swing. I'm hoping he trades into the gift wrap whelp. That's a good value trade. But then that lets us value trade our miracle salesman in response. What the heck? Dalaran for sure. Okay, so that's a mana cheat card. I've never seen that in a deck before, I don't think. I mean, since they're cheating mana, I'm guessing they're playing Mech Warrior. I think that has to be it. Hate to see it. Because their OTK tends to be pretty fast. Makes me nervous. I think we would just want to drop the Zilliax right now, right? Yeah, we go one drop into Zilliax. We do have a turn five play. Hate to play this for mana, but it's something. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Mech Warrior. Let's see if they have the Brawl in hand. Oh, they got that stupid freaking thing. Oh, that sucks ass. 
All right, might be a loss for us, but let's still try. Okay, let's swing, get on board a little bit. <clears throat> let's draw. Can we get a funnel cake? Oh shit, we got the funnel cake. Hmm, how are we doing this? Yeah, this gets us back up to five. Draw two. Yeah, we for sure want to draw now. Okay, that lets us cur curve our clay matriarch. Okay. Let's get him. Come on, come on. Okay, I think we want to keep our clergy on board. We want that draw potential, and we also like the snake oil. It gives us the most options next turn. Okay, we got a pretty strong hand now. And we got a 7-10 on board. So, if he has a mech play... It's not going to be as strong. Okay, thanks to our weapons, we thinned our deck out a lot. Ten cards left in deck. Uh, that could eat our Zerimi. But it did not. Instead, it uh, thinned out the deck even more. It's great. Let's get our Zerimi. Screw it. Yeah, let's just go for it, right? Okay, we played four dragons. We need to play more. How many dragons do we even have? We got... Oh, we got our Wealth Wranglers in our deck. That's not good. Okay, so it's going to be a while before we could even get to uh, Zerimi, actually. Kind of unfortunate. How are we going to play this? Okay. Let's do... Let's get a cheese in hand. Why not? We got our healthy boys in. So if he leaves these up, we got a strong cheese next turn. Uh, we use the snake oil to get down our uh, drifter and cost. Okay. That's good. Not bad for us. Draw two. He's fishing. But we love to see him fish and spend mana while we have a threatening board. Probably going to brawl us here. I think that's all he really can do. But let's see. Uh, our next turn is... Probably very obvious. We're going Clay Matriarch into the mini, the miniaturized version. That gives us, uh, that nets us four dragons total. Because it's two dragons we play, and then they summon two more dragons on death. Uh, so we're almost guaranteed to get our Zerimi down pretty soon. All right. I think he played the weapon. I think he knows he's about to die. So he's probably going yellow with the weapon and just crossing his fingers he gets lethal. Maybe he actually has a lethal upcoming. I don't think so. Can we get a concede here? I hope we can get a concede here. Because I don't think there's any way he's going to mech us down like this. Uh, he could try and go for the taunt resummon card. I forget what it's called. 
hydration station next turn. That's a little bit annoying. We'd have to do some math to see if we could still kill him after that. But we almost for sure will be able to get our Zerimi down next turn. So let's just see under what condition we can get him down. But yeah, it's looking really good. We got Zerimi. We got the Cheese. We got a Drifter. Yeah, Hydration Station. That sucks. That's a lot of taunts. A lot of taunts. Kind of sucks. But it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> okay, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to trade like this, right? Yeah, we want to get the health. Okay, we're for sure playing Zerimi, right? And we have a 1 and 4 to draw into Almond Pool next turn. Is there a way we could guarantee that a little further? I don't think so. That sucks. But it is what it is. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now we're doing that, right? Okay, we're going all the way. Job's done. Amanthul? Oh, man. If we knew we were going to top deck that. Uh, do we still win? Alright, hold up. No, we don't win, right? Can we? Got 29 on board. But we gotta... Hmm. That's unfortunate. We actually don't have the win right now. Huh? Close, but no cigar. Yeah. All right. Let's just knock him down a bit, right? I mean, we got Giga Nut Hand, so also not too worried about uh, any of this. Guess we're gonna heal. Yeah, we got Juice Cheese, we got Almond Duel with a Synchronize, and a Sasquatch. That's pretty dang good. And they got three health, so they can't even swing into these taunts. Would have loved to kill them right off of the Zerimi, but it is what it is. Uh, they ain't gonna smork us right now, right? They could armor up into their weapon and then swing into this drop, this four drop right here. But they didn't do that. Yeah, you're going to die, bro. All right. Good game. Good game. Uh, we could have done some BM stuff with Chill and Bulgin, but nah, we don't need to. All right. We are for sure going for the Zarimi kill. GG. Yeah, good game. I mean, Warrior did what he could, but he didn't have any clears. Uh, I could tell he drew pretty bad, and we just swarmed him, and we got to Zerimi pretty well. All right. We got a Druid with a Baller Cthulhu portrait. Okay, Druid. Let's try and smork him before he ramps. Uh... I mean, this is a turn one play. We don't have any other one drops in hand. So we might just want to keep this to have a guaranteed turn one play. 
that we can hopefully scale up with his uh, ability here. My drop in this two drop. Look at that. Good mulligan. Okay, we are off to a great start thanks to that. That's pretty cool too. Let's do the obvious move. Let's see what our opponents got. Lots of Druid builds, but because they played this location, this is almost for sure, uh, whatchamacallit, Mista Vista Druid. I'm okay with that, actually. For those of you guys that don't know, Mista Vista Druid basically revolves around the card called Mista Vista. It's a 5 drop where when you play the card, uh, after 3 turns, you recast every spell that you played within the, those 3 turns. So our Druid's going to try and find Mista Vista, play Mista Vista, and then get a bunch of spells down and essentially OTK us. So we gotta beat him before then. He's gotta die. So we're playing pretty fast. We're just going for the obvious optimal smorking potential right now. We have a cool chill and bulge in. We might not get a chance to play him. Because this deck, I don't think it runs really any minions besides Mista Vista. But we'll see. For now, let's keep swarming the board as fast as humanly possible before he could do any power plays. Okay, he's got a location turn coming up next turn. So there is a chance we get swiped. That's going to suck. But it's also not too bad because we could uh, we could fill the board back up next turn. So let's smork him a little bit now. A little bit more and see what he's got. Okay, as expected, he's played the Mista Vista. Okay, doing Druid things. Probably going to swipe right now. Yeah, I got the swipe. How much is that? Five and two. Not too bad. We still got a decent board. I'm actually not tripping about that at all. Okay. So this could actually be pretty good after all. So we could drop more minions along with Chillin' Bull Jin, but we got Scale Replica, which is going to draw us our Clay Matriarch. That gives us a pretty powerful uh, turn 6 play. So I think we're doing that. We also want to thin our deck looking for Zarimi, because that's basically an auto win for us. Okay. Let's go for the stat swap here. Let's give him the least amount of stats possible and give us the maximum. I don't think we care about this on board. Here, let's do this first. And do we want to trade? We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 attack on board. We get them down to 9. Yeah, let's just get them down as low as possible. I think that's our game plan right now. All right, what has he got? He's got two turns left on his Mista Vista. <clears throat> he just spent three mana to draw three. Fine by me. He's probably going to Innervate Swipe right now. Oh, okay. Can't even Swipe. Wow. Yeah, I guess Swipe doesn't really do anything now that his location's down. Oh, that sucks. We lost our guaranteed Zarimi because he overdrew us right there. Uh, good job by him. Sucks for us. So we got 11 attack on board. He's got 17 health. I don't even know if we want to try and look for Zarimi at this point. The other option is we just drop down the Matriarch right this moment. That honestly might be the play. I'm really tempted. How many cards left in deck? 16. 
and we don't have any way to get to Zerimi besides just straight up drawing Zerimi or getting Magatha, and we don't even have hand space for that. So I think we're, yeah, I think we're going uh, for tempo game plan now. Yeah, two turns left before Mr. Vista Crocs. He's, this guy's going to need a really strong turn right now. I don't think he could do it, but let's find out. Okay, going for spell damage. Got a swipe, yep. Okay, that's a desperation play right there. So he's going into his Mr. Vista turn next turn. So we could just go Sasquatch. That might be it, honestly. Other option is we do something a little bit different. We look for Zerimi. Didn't get it. Then we just bust out our minions. Yeah. I'm liking that a little bit more. Because now we can play Clay Matriarch. Because he's going on his Zerimi turn, I think we just say screw it and heal. Even though that weapon's looking really juicy right now. I don't think his Zerimi turn's that strong right now, though. So I think we're looking pretty good overall. Let's see, though. Okay, he's on 10 mana now. That's a little bit scary. But the thing is, he didn't play any of his uh, drink spells. So he can't really scale his Mr. Visto very well right now. He does have one dollhouse left. But, I mean, he used so much of his damage spells already. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. But, I mean... Oh, he lost his really good legendary right there. That's a lot of power for him. He could try and smork us, but we have so much health on board. Uh, I think he has one more swipe left that he could get. Yeah, he used two Malfurion's Gifts. And one swipe. So he's got one swipe left. Alright, let's see what he could do. Ooh. Powerful play right there. Okay, this guy... He kind of low-rolled his uh, Mista Vista. But he's making up for it pretty well right now, to be fair. Uh, the best thing is, though, he used all that energy just to clear my board. He barely did any damage. To my face. I don't think he's got enough here. But it's Mr. Vista Jewel. A lot of shenan shenanigans can happen with this deck. Okay, he's going to deny me the 5 health right there. That must have really sucked for him to do. Love to see it. There goes his last swipe. So I think his only big damage left is his drinks. Probably. We could go Sasquatch. That gets us the cheese. Or we could do a bunch of freaking one drops and weapon and then thin our deck a little bit more looking for Zerimi. That's tempting, too. I think we do a bunch of taunts. I'm kind of liking that, to be honest. Because we could straight up do all of this right now. All of that. 
We could do all of this. Full board. Thin the deck. Come on, Zremi, where you at? <clears throat> okay, the dude's going for it. Okay, out of cards. There goes the last funnel cake, I believe. Okay. Plus uh, three mana, I think that was. Yeah, plus three mana right there. Looking for damage. Yeah, didn't get the damage. Spent all of his resources just trying to survive. And uh, he couldn't do it. GG. All right. We got a rogue here with a sick portrait. Man, I want to see that portrait golden. Wow. Okay. Zarimi is bait. Let's keep our one drops. Yeah, this is great. Let's see what we get on the mulligan. Okay. Man, top 500 is brutal. I was climbing up rank. I literally went to shower, take care of a couple things, come back, and I slipped down to rank 420. But... There's definitely worse ranks to slip down to than 420. I don't know about you guys. I don't really know what my audience is here, but man, I was the biggest stoner for the longest time. Even just seeing this rank, man. Brings out the worst of me. Okay, what are we going to do here? Do we want to farm dragons? Or do we want to go for the buff right now? I mean, if this is Weapon Rogue, We might just want to try and race them right now. But also, we could get just start farming our one-drop dragons, because we got the Drifter in hand. I think that's what we want to do. Honestly, either way probably worked pretty well, but I like going a little wider, especially against Rogue. Okay, that's a good card for us to see that enables a value trade for us so let's get a taunt down and also play a dragon and let's go for value trade right now this also lets us farm more dragons and more one drops so we're feeding both our thirsty drifters and our zarimi at the same time so I played Greedy Partner, so this is probably that, uh, uh, not Excavate, the weird, like, uh, uh, the one drop weird deck. I forget what it's called. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Okay. Turn four. We already have the board, and we could develop further. I like that. I don't like that they have two coins. I am very afraid of a wishing well. They could even try and go for it next turn. But again, we got the board. Okay. Let's pump some more value there. Uh, we're looking good for turn five. Hold up. Okay, Drilly the Kid. Okay, so it is Excavate Rogue. This is actually really fine to me. Yeah, they're losing tempo a lot. Let's just try and smork this foe. I think we want to do that, right? Okay, let's go Funnel Cake. Get the draw, get the mana back. Oh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, let's draw again because we're running out of board space. Oh, we love to see it. Nine cards in hand. Let's overdraw. That also gives us board space. 
to do something very OP. You probably see it right now. We're going to go this into big boy. Is that 7 8? Yep. And we draw again. Really nice. Okay. Wishing well, sure. They got two coins. Might be able to get another coin or two also. Let's see. They're thinking. I guess they're thinking because they got the nuts or they're thinking because they got garbage and they're like, all right, what's next? Set the cost of spells in your hand to zero shit. Oh, wow, that's OP. Set the costs of spells in your hand to zero. After you cast one, the others cost one more. Okay, one more spell. And they got a coin. Oh, jeez. Does that... No, that doesn't make the this coin go one more. Because that wasn't in the hand when this was played. Okay, that's the literal worst legendary we could possibly see. For us. But I think it's fine. Okay, we got Sasquatch next turn. Okay, we got 14 attack on board. Uh, Honestly, let's just go Magatha. I'm not afraid of Boom Boss. Yeah, we might lose a little tempo. We probably should have swung before we play Magatha, but it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let him overdraw. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Okay, let's get the funnel kick down. Get some mana back. And then let's go... Let's just go face. I would love to clear this wishing well, but... We're threatening lethal right now. Okay, let's draw one more. I mean, we only got one TNT left in deck. We got really unlucky that we even drew one, let alone two. But now we're really not afraid of TNT. Uh, still have Zerimi in deck. If anything, TNT just pushed us uh, closer to Zerimi. As long as we don't lose Zerimi, we're looking really good right now. Value trade's fine. I mean, they spent three mana for a value trade when we got a giant board already. Not tripping too hard off of it. Ah, uh, we hate to see that. But not the end of the world. Okay, he's going to get a value trade there. Yeah, he's going to value trade really well right now. Uh, this is a good turn for him. But we got a pretty nice follow-up too. Oh, that's a really nice follow-up. Okay, how do we want to do this? We could do a couple power plays. We could go two play Matriarch. The normal and then the mini. Or we just go Almond Duel. Yeah, let's not play around with this board. Let's just clear it. They'll have no more Wishing Willows after this. So don't have to worry about that type of scam. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, 10 health, rogue. Let's go for the scam. Yeah, scam's pretty nice. Oh, we could actually summon a copy of it with 2-2, two, two, in theory. Oh, man, wouldn't that be the nuts? <laughs> if we can do that, that's 8 damage represented right there. Okay. Again, fine. You have a holy spell to play with that? Or is that just random tempo? Okay, spent two mana for a wishy-washy card. 
Okay, they did restore some health. They can clear the Almond Thule if they want this turn now. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. <clears throat> wow. Okay, really strong turn for our opponent there. But man, we got a really strong turn too. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, yeah, we're removing the life steal. Get out of here. And of course, the four six. Let's get another legendary. Oh man. So we got nine cards. We got effectively seven cards, thanks to this stupid TNT. Yeah, this might be bait, honestly. But we got power cords synchronized. Jeez. Man, we could scam so hard with this. I think we want to smork him. Yeah, screw the long game. Look at that. Kane, Dragon Ban, power word synchronized. We got a crazy 10 mana turn if we really want to. Okay. They got the Azrite Scorpion. I mean, this deck is so cool. I think if you want to have fun, this is a great deck, but it's RNG, man. It's an RNG deck. It's kind of hard to climb with it. But hey, hey, respect to them if they could uh, pull something out of their booty right now. Alright, what you got, bro? <laughs> Buddy, are you going to leave up my almond pool? Oh, oh, shoot, what? Summon a frozen copy? No. Oh, hold up. We got Dreamy right now, right? So two? Huh. We only have five dragons up. Yeah, we can't play Dreamy this turn. So I think we're going Amatul, right? Gotta be Amatul. Yeah, let's take some stuff off the board right now. Let's take off attack power. And then... Uh, what does this get? Let's get Zilliax later in the game. Yeah, I don't think we're going to play any of those. They got nine attack power. So yeah, we for sure want a value trade. Okay, I doubt they could kill us right now. They, they got so many random cards in their hand right now. And a bunch of mana cheat. Anything possible with this type of rogue. But hey, we got two Almond Fools on board. And a 4-3. And we got... Time, Time Winder in deck. Zerimi. So... Yeah, we're looking pretty good overall. I don't know if there's going to be a Zerimi, uh game, though. Let's see. Thank God that's a frozen copy. Sheesh. Oh, you're going to tank three damage? All right. Fine by me, not too bad. Okay, that's a little worrisome. Shoot. Okay, do we have lethals here? We got four, five, six, seven. That's nine. I don't think we have lethals. I really want to kill this fool, but I don't think we can. Oh no.
I think we just want to pump up our Zerimi as much as possible this game, right? I think we want to hold our cane and surprise him. We don't want to clear anything, right? They still only have six attack on board. Yeah, we got to go a little fast, right? Okay. Let's get Zerimi. Let's play our dragons. Oh, I think we misplayed. We should play that first. Shit. Whatever. Too late. Gotta go. Okay. So they're probably gonna go taunt Lifesteal here. And if they do, then they will have gotten debated. Okay, they use the rock for clear, so there's no way they got lethal. Oh, please. Please let me debate you with Kane. No, oh, please, brother. Yes, build that board. <clears throat> oh, hate to see it. Hate to see it. Oh, hate to see it. Oh, that sucks. We still win though, right? How many mana do I have left? One. Can they clear the 4-4? Four, four? Yeah, they can. Shoot. Oh no, they got four armor? Shit. Oh. Oh no, that's a disaster. Okay. I mean, we gotta go for it though, right? Oh, and we might hit the TNT too? Uh-oh. That's never good. Okay, we're going this, right? Because we want to hit him. Face once. Okay, moment of truth. Okay. If we don't draw TNT, then we win. If we draw TNT, then we find out. 80% chance to win. You didn't want to see that result? Yeah, there was a 20% chance we drew TNT into, I think, what? What was that? 25% chance to hit the cane? Yeah, so there was like a 5% chance he survived that, uh, that turn. And an even higher chance that he would have survived the entire game and won. But, okay. Good game. All right. Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter named Storm. That is intimidating. My god. Okay, we're dumping that, of course. We got a nice 1-2 turn. I actually like uh, having Chill and Vol'jin in hand. Specifically because uh, if they put the captain, the pirate captain down, we could kill it with this usually. So let's keep Vol'jin. Better than mulliganing it and drawing into like a useless Sasquatch or something. Okay, let's go. That's not nice. Do we want to go super tempo and coin? Nah, because they could hero power that. Alright. Turn one. Pretty straightforward. Discount our thirsty drifter as well. Oh my god, that's so intimidating. Okay. Turn two. We are in a massive uphill battle now. Shit. All right. Let's go for shenanigans. Do we want to coin into clergy? I don't think so. I think we want to save our coin. So that if they clear a board here, we could coin, put the 1-2 dragon down, and then bulge in it. I think. All right, let's see. Who 
We got some plays here. We got some plays here. But man, that's intimidating. Look at all that. My god. Okay. What are we doing here? That's a really good draw, actually. We're about to play, I think because we have two drifters, let's go for 3-1 drops, right? Yeah, that's really nice. And I think just like that, we're about to wrestle back some tempo. Uh, we're for sure doing... Oh, man. He could juice these up really good. But he doesn't have the uh, summon, the pirate summon right now. So I think it's going to be hard for him to juice this up right away. So let's just do the obvious move. Not get too fancy. And clear the biggest threat presently on board. Hey, how are we the same rank? 387, 387? Scam. Scam by Blizzard. Oh no. That's not fun. Shit. Okay, hello threatening. Okay. Oh, we messed up. We were supposed to draw first. Oops. That's fine. Because now we're going to get to play both at once. Can we get this foo to concede now? That's really bad. We missed the health on this. But look at that. <laughs> uh, they could drop a cane. But still, I mean, they can't kill us, I think, in one turn. Okay, that's the other best card they could have. But still, it's looking pretty good for us. Yeah, we got Vulgen now. We finally got some good Vulgen value. It's looking good. Okay, he's got two attack. That's fine, though. That's really awkward for him. He doesn't have any sexy traits. He's going to have to lose these fools. Yeah, bro, you think you got me. You think you cleared me well, but you did not. Okay, do we want to play this, or do we want to heal? We're curving into Matriarch next turn, so I think we just want to get on board, right? We're not too worried about health. Plus, I think we'll get him to concede off of this right here. Okay, swap. Swap. Into trade. Into trade. Concede. Nah, we don't want to BM. He hasn't unmoded us. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, any other card, I think he should have conceded. But because he got the patches, I mean, he could basically say YOLO. He's got some YOLO plays now. So he's probably going to stay in and just see what happens. Sees what happens. Okay, let's go for value trades. Value, value. Face, face. Concede? That's got to be conceded, yeah. All right, good game. I mean, he, he did what we could, he could, but yeah, he couldn't beat that. We had so much taunt, so many stats. Good trades. Vulgen ended up being a great keep as well.